Hey, Odin boys here. Um, just a quick video. I just got out of the uh, the bank from uh, cashing out some uh, pocket change um, and whatnot. And inside the um, ATM, all this was stuck except the zinc that came back from I think mine. But um, all these were all stuck to magnets. This is a wheat scent, and if it's and if that was actually stuck to the magnet, which I think it was, and I'm going to test when I get home, um, could it be a 1943 steel? It's hard to see the date. There we go. Um, I see a 1903. Uh, I doubt this is like the one that uh, is rare to find. Yeah, 1943. Now, I don't know which 43, or is it 44, but, uh, yeah, I think that's a steel penny. Uh, well, check when I get home. I'll put a magnet to it and look up some info. <laughs> Silly me. Um, the other coins that were in there, a couple, uh, about three Canadians, um, 25, 5, and 10. Um, I got a ru ru rupee, so I guess I can go to Russia, but it's got an elephant on it, or no, it's got the, uh, almost lost that one in my car. That's cool. I mean, oh, India. I guess India's deal with rupees, too. Uh-huh. A one rupee. I don't even know what that's worth. And then I got a, uh, five centimos, however you want to pronounce it, 1986. So, not bad, not bad. Oh, Danny Boy's here at, at, at the beach. Um, I got the uh, 600. I like the 600 on five tones on the beach for some reason. But uh, factory settings. I didn't do any recordings on uh, any fines. Um, it was pretty hot today. Cooled off tonight. And uh, we're just going to chill out. I'm going to chill out and continue swinging. And at the wrap up, I will show you guys. Uh, what I find. Well, speak of the devil, I think I got a penny here, so I might as well just pull that out. It's either a penny or it's gonna be a bottle cap again. I call this bottle cap beach. Beer cap beach, bottle cap beach. I don't carry my scoop because it's just too much to deal with when you're in the dry sand. I just rather get down like I do in the parks and uh, pinpoint it and pull it out. Nothing's deep that I you really go for. So, but uh, I did manage a few quarters. You'll see at the wrap up some dimes, whatnot. You know the normal everyday beach finds. I'm anxious to find out what that ring is. Uh, it isn't. Isn't that awesome? I like this beach, but it's trashy and full of beer caps. And I mean, when I say trash, there's trash there. There's a bunch of trash right ahead. I'll zoom into it. All right there is trash. Yep. Oh man, it started raining and a little bit of thunder earlier. I was like, great. I paid for parking and now I'm gonna have to leave because of thunder, lightning, a uh, little bit of rain ain't gonna bother me. Thunder and lightning, well, I don't know if this is uh, considered a lightning rod. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I will see you all at the wrap up. Hopefully you enjoy the wrap up. All right, so what I pulled out of the coin star 
is right there and um, we want the 1944 steel but um that has no mint mark so it was pilly and um, I don't know what condition you would call that in but uh it has anywhere between a dollar on up depending on the condition and he still has a high cheekbone and um, some beard but quite a bit of wear still you could have it all Liberty yay 1943 steel we don't even really find those too much when we're out metal detecting so let's go on to the beach vines and uh, onto the beach vines I call this bottle cap beach because there's so much of this crap that ring right there was a 19 and um, it's just a blinger oh well I got this nice little Jeep truck bunch of trash found five dollars monopoly can't even buy a buy a, I don't even think you can buy a house anymore on Monopoly for under a fucking fifty thousand dollars with inflation, they're gonna have to redo the whole Monopoly game. And uh, about a dollar fifty and quarters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dimes. One nickel, five pennies. Overall, between the coins, the um, coin star, coin counter, whatever, at the bank and the beach, it wasn't too bad of a day of fines. Well, uh, I hope you all enjoy my videos. Um, Talisha should hopefully um, be back at some point and uh, whatnot. So, <sighs> anyways, happy hunting. Peace.